Hello everyone, this is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss about 17 different Wagner coats of arms. We're going to go through them real fast. Some of them I don't have a lot of information for, others I have some. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer ancestral and genealogy research services. Please visit the link in our description. We are typically able to trace your family's ancestry back several hundred years and determine whether or not they owned a coat of arms. So the first Wagner coat of arms features a blue shield with the bust of an ox and a lion between two probocytes in the crest. This was born by an old Rathsburg dynasty from the imperial city of Nuremberg, who descended from Frix Wagner, who had something to do with a grain market, I don't know, and his sons, Conrad Wagner, who lived in the 1380s, and Heinz Wagner, who died in 1392. Now, this line has died out on the male side, so it's unlikely that this belonged to many Wagners today. Next is Thomas Wagner, the secretary and rentmaster of the court of Gabriel von Salmonica. He received letters of nobility on May 17, 1544, and was ennobled by Holy Roman Emperor Charles V in 1444. He was the son of Gregory Wagner, a weaver who was born in the year 1470. And the shield is black featuring a gold griffin holding a wheel. And that is the same in the crest. Third, this was born by a Prussian family who descended from an old Konigsberg patrician family who were ennobled in the year 1541. And it's a yellow shield featuring a black lion holding a fleur de lis azure. Next is a quarterly coat of arms featuring a lion holding a half wheel as well as three white roses. And this arms was born by Johann Tobias Wagner, captain and commissioner of the district of Wenden, and he was ennobled in 1753, and his father had moved to Livonia at the beginning of that century. Next is a quarterly coat of arms featuring a figure of justice with a blindfold and scales in her hands, as well as a cornucopia. This was granted to Sophie Frederick Christine Wagner and in the year 1766, and it was also born by Friedrich Heinrich Wilhelm Wagner and Anton Ludwig Wagner, who were presidents of the chambers in different regions of Prussia. Next is one I'm not sure of. This says that it belonged to someone who was ennobled in 1745. And again, I'm not sure, but my guess on this one is a, a legal profession, someone in the legal profession named Ludwig Friedrich Wagner. Next, we have one featuring a stag coming out of some water on a terrace vert next to a, a green mountain. And we know that this was from someone in Swabia bore this coat of arms, a Wagner in Swabia, which is a region in southern Germany. Next is Wagner von Solothurn. 
which is in Switzerland, features an ox on a red shield. Next is the coat of arms of Dr. Andreas Wagner from Leipzig. He was given the arms or ennobled in 1790, and his son Thomas Wagner was made a baron in 1812 by the King of Saxony. And it's a white shield that features a tree trunk of oak. Next is a coat of arms from Bavaria that was granted in the year 1632. Another from Bavaria, this one from Windsheim, Bavaria. This one has an oval buckle and a Latin cross. Another featuring a wheel on a red and blue shield with a man in the crest holding a half wheel. This is from the Nassau or Nassau region of Germany. Another coat of arms featuring a paschal lamb on a red shield with a pelican in her piety in the crest. Found in Nuremberg. Another Wagner coat of arms featuring a river with a boat vert on it. Kind of interesting. And this was from someone in Chur, Switzerland. A town in Switzerland named Chur. Here we have a, a black shield with a man holding a ragged staff. And this is from Hof, Bavaria. Another one from Nuremberg featuring a wolf on a black shield holding a red wheel. And lastly, for the purposes of this video, there are many, many more. We can't discuss them all. But this one is from Vienna and features a blue and red shield with a dog on the blue portion and a wheel on the red portion. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about your ancestors, please visit us at coadb.com. We offer genealogy research services, merchandise, and high-resolution images for $13.99 each. Thank you very much.